old keg recumbent stone circle. Two and a half miles north of Alford, on the hill of Early, is Old Keg Recumbent Stone Circle. The huge megalith recumbent stone is the biggest in Aberdeenshire, weighing in at 53 tonnes. This was a monumental feat of engineering for our Neolithic ancestors from 3000 BC. Cothiemuir Wood Recumbent Circle is just one mile away and is another must-visit site, and like Old Keg, it has a very large recumbent stone. Old Keg has fantastic views south over the Howe of Alford. Circle is situated on private land near Old Keg Farmhouse. At either side of the recumbent is a flanker. This recumbent and flanker setting is unique to Aberdeenshire. The flankers are just over 2 metres high. The west flanker is slender and pointed with the east flank being broader. One standing stone outside the recumbent setting survives on the southeast arc at nearly 3 metres high. Over 20 miles away, the summit of Mount Keen seems to have been very important to the ancient people. This hill is framed by the recumbent setting and is reminiscent of Tapu North near Ardlair Circle. Notice how this hill resembles the female form with a breast and a pregnant belly. The south southwest orientated recumbent is made of sillimanite gneiss. It was transported six miles from the Don Valley. The megalith is around five metres long by two metres high and two metres thick. It sits in a bed of packing stones with an outer smooth face. The recumbent's south southwest orientation may suggest a winter solstice sunset alignment. This three stone setting may act as a viewing window for astronomical events. The Neolithic people perhaps congregated at the ring to witness celestial events. Gordon Child excavated in 1932. He found a large bank of stones and three fallen megaliths, two in the north and three in the eastern arc. Other finds were tiny fragments of human cremated bone, portions of at least three large flat rimmed urns, beaker pot shards and charcoal. Child also found a 22 metre diameter central cairn which was heavily robbed. Today roughly five upright cairn stones can be seen. Other fallen stones can be found lying recumbent in the grass. The first dig was recorded in 1692. Ashes were found in the now missing central cairn. The first written record was in the 1820s by James Logan.